still think Jerry's a suspect. We could probably debate this all night. As much as I love spending time with you, every minute we spend in here together, we're inviting trouble. We need to protect your cover. I know, okay? I hate this phony breakup, too. As, as soon as we find out who's doing this, the sooner we can get back to our lives. Exactly why I won't follow up on useless leads. We won't make this case on circumstantial evidence. Fine, then let's broaden the search and look for different suspects. Come on, you... Nadine said that Matt Hunter looks suspicious, no? Yeah. And where is Nadine? Uh, Nadine's still not answering her phone. Well, maybe she just doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Something tells me she's off trailing Matt Hunter again, even though I told her not to. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why she doesn't want to talk to you. Maybe she doesn't want you telling her Sam, what to she's, do. She's harassing a member of my staff simply because she believes she overheard him on some suspicious phone call. Okay, well, what's the problem with her following up on it? Because she's not she's not accomplishing anything by it other than irritating him and embarrassing herself. She she broke into the man's bedroom, for God's sake, climbed through his window. That it sounds harmless, I suppose. Right, of course. You, you wouldn't think that if you thought he was involved in this counterfeit drug. No, absolutely not. I would be looking somewhere to dig up some more evidence. The way you are with Jerry. Come on. Jerry keeps turning up everywhere I am, down at the pier, uh, at the warehouse when I'm docking a shipment for Karpov. It's not just a coincidence. I, I don't believe it is either. I mean, I think this is right up Jerry's alley. There's pig money in counterfeit drugs. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't think twice if somebody died in the process. There you go again, talking like you're sure he's involved. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Not one now. What could you possibly want? Well, I have some information you might be able to use about some bad medicine that's circulating. So let's see, you held me hostage, you poisoned me, you blackmailed me, now you're yes, here, why? Yes, no need to hear my litany of transgressions. I'm quite aware, thank you. Good. Then you understand why I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth and why I'm looking for a scalpel where I can stab you. Yes, well, I understand me. that you're angry, but I'm making a sincere attempt to turn my life around. Oh, in other words, you're, you're here to suck up to me. I'm ashamed so, of you. So I'll stop telling Alexis that she's insane for getting involved with you. Absolutely. What I have to tell you is very important. Otherwise, I wouldn't be standing in this room surrounded by surgical instruments. I hear things, and I hear that there's counterfeit harm medication circulating. I mean, you do good work here, and, and you've suffered major setbacks, so heart medication dispense with care. Well, come on then. How do you know this? Huh? Who's behind the counterfeit drugs? I expected this son of a bitch to admit anything. Well, it's as good as a confession. Jerry is definitely involved. You heard him. No, I heard him warn Nicholas to watch out for phony hard meds. <sighs> exactly, but to me that means he's connected. He's in on it. Why would Jerry incriminate himself? Because the guy likes to play mind games. That's what he does. <sighs> he probably thinks I'm playing both sides. You're right. He might be trying to throw you off by acting like one of the good guys, you know, passing information to me, hoping to get back to you. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for your help. Oh, too bad. Uh, I didn't need an escort. <laughs> use for you. Then why don't you leave him You still don't think he's involved, do you? No, he didn't like it all. I, I was just trying to... I want to go check out that alley. You're not going to that. Fine. I don't see anything that would indicate why Matt Hunter was here. No, I was never convinced anyone was right to suspect a guy. I, I mean, I like Nadine. She's great, but... She, what? She has a crush on Nicholas. Uh, and what's that supposed to mean? That she, she's a girl? She can't handle two things at the same time? Caring uh, about somebody and a complex, logical thought? God forbid. Uh-huh. Well, tell me you've never done anything to impress a guy. Doing something different to make him notice you. Are you serious? She's a professional who deals with life and death situations every day. And moons over Nicholas like a lovesick teenager? Oh, my God. She overheard Matt Hunter talking about counterfeit drugs. Okay, because he works at the hospital where the counterfeit Ugh. drugs came in. He's talking about it. That doesn't give us any reason to think he's involved. Uh-huh, maybe this does. This alleyway leads to Pier 52, where I landed that shipment for Karpov. Maybe all of this leads to Karpov and the drugs. Come on. 